Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Golden Horde, the Rites of the Horde campaign. We're going to try to put down the Georgian Separatists here for a second. See what happens when we get to Mingrelia. Uh, unfortunately, we've got some some pretty super super pissed off Persians that are yeah you know, like this horrible looking country. Tons of cores available to them still from the Timurids. Timurids are still totally all about being allies. I don't want to declare reconquest on them. Um, really, not really, but we have a truce with uh, Genoa here. We have a truce with Muscovy for a couple more months, about a year or so, till till uh, February of next year. He's not re-upped his alliance with anybody. He's on Tech Seven. We're on Tech Seven, so Tech is equal this time around. He's currently at war with uh, Denmark in the Norwegian War for Independence. So. He's trying to break Norway out from underneath Denmark, and I think Sweden's already independent. So he's pretty well focused over there. We could attack him. We're a little bit light on manpower right now. We also have some war exhaustion. We are supposed to be trying to make Austria like us. We can get, uh... Is, is, there's a chance. We might be able to do it. I don't think... Aus is Austria a great power? They are. They're actually in fourth place. 396 development. We're at 310 overall score. We actually have... Well, this is the actual development. We have 430 development. We have more development than Austria does now, but we... Because of our tech disadvantage, we're having a hard time. Ming is still way, way the frick up there. 1100 development. Pretty impressive, considering that the autonomy floor for Ming is like 50%. So that means he actually has like 2000 development altogether. That's the, uh... That's the autonomy modified development. Is there a shortcut for that button? I think. I could be wrong. Let me check. Full development. No, it's, it's saying 1100, but again, I thought that that was... Let's see. We we list at 319. Total development of our provinces is 319. I can't recall now. I don't remember. I think it's autonomy modified. Could be mistaken though. Lost a claim on Kazan, that's unfortunate, but that's because Kazan was stolen from us. He's a jerk. This one's pretty quick. April of 96, that's not too bad. We got Diplomatic Reputation Guy, we took a, a mission that gave us some Diplo Rep. We have no overextensions, we got a lot of things going for us in that, in that department. Theodore was, Theodore was almost loyal. Let's go speed four. Car just collapsed. Syria is now free. Syria has core on Ottomans and Mamluks. Mamluks no longer considers Kara to be a rival. They've rivaled us instead. Kara is no longer rivaling the Mamluks. They're rivaling Genoa now. Yeah, Kara's done. They're dead. GG. A herald from the Timurids. Kara has now guaranteed now have their independence guaranteed by the Timurids. So Kara is that weak that they are being guaranteed by a nation that uh, pays off other people's debts when they have rebels everywhere. I haven't taken a look at trade in a while. Our trade income is 3.16 ducats a month. Most of which is coming from Astrakhan. We have 67% control here. We only have 6% control up here. We had more, but I think I got rid of that thing and it was due to occupation. We shouldn't really probably be collecting there anymore. Um, we still can't reach Samarkand. We've got Merchant's Ware. We're collecting up here. We're steering over here. There's just no good location for me to steer. I say, with 30% control here, we collect from trade here, and we collect from trade here. Let me see how that goes. We're at one point, we're at 3.16 ducats. Yeah, it's very marginally better. Trade is so weak for, for nations that aren't in the right node. But we're making money while full maintenance, so that is a great sign. Syria has rivaled Kara. Invited to some place. Golden Horde likes us. Cool. 
Okay, so Georgian Separatists, Mingrelia, 3 points, point, point 0.3 war score. Alright, point 0.3 war, bleh, words. Unrest. Pull a troop off from here. And now we're doing solid. We can put that one down. We can put them all down. Excellent. We can go down to no unrest, no no rebellion. And then we can consider going from there. Especially as the war exhaustion comes down. Harold from Kara. Moscovies changed their main trading city to Moskva. They have window of the west. So they've moved west most west west moster. They've moved their capital. From Ryzen, no. It's it was in Moscow, wasn't it? I'm confused now. Nice! They rivaled Poland. That's so good. Now we don't have to worry about them picking that up at all. But they did take military tech eight. Cavalry shock. Very sizable. Harold from Poland and Lithuania. Okay. Who else hates you? Sweden hates you. Denmark hates you. We're just going to wait for this one to come down a bit. Poland we'll counter-rivaled them. So that one war, that war where we, we peeled Nizhny Novgorod out from them. Totally, totally worthwhile. Right. Which one of these guys can we put down? Dagestan. Go we'll work on that one. Now, one thing that kind of sucks is that uh, we're, we're finally about to embrace the Renaissance, and it's already been almost 50 years. So as soon as we embrace the Renaissance, now there's going to be the damn uh, colonialism. It's going to pop up. So it's we're, we're constantly going to be behind the, the ball. But we're doing a decent enough job of, of trying to keep up. There's a, there goes the Shadow Kingdom event. Okay. Our royal marriage with the Ottomans has uh, ended. We've gained the humiliate rival against Muscovy. There goes our CB with... Uh, our, sorry, our truce with Muscovy. So it looks like they have a new heir. They want your provinces. They desire Ezrzum Trebizond. So they do still want this land, even though my vassal owns it. That's okay. Not as bad as if we owned it ourselves, I think. Our improved relations is only at uh, plus 65. We should top off relations with them, rather than work on Persia. We should also re-up the military alliance. Hey, there's one of the reasons why I love innovative. Scientific revolution continues. So, if we're going to do... Tech... We're behind the most on admin, right? Because we still have more ideas to do. Can we knock out two more administrative ideas soon and then still take advantage of this within the next 10 years? If I, if I make it on military, we can get caught up, but then we're going to get corruption, which would stink. I think we just go ahead and make it Diplo. Diplo is one of the weakest ones, but... Okay, Georgians are almost gone. Dagestani should be gone. Now we gotta go to Merti. Uzbek now has civil war. Emerti. Alright. And Shirvani. And Shirvan. Beyond that, we can actually finally lower lower stuff. Royal marriage from the Ottomans. Who's older, me or you? I'm 23 and you are 37. We accept from your your side. Okay, Baluchistan wants Kandatiari. They don't have a lot of money on hand, evidently. Yeah, no. 
We're going to top off relations with the Ottomans again. Hopefully he turns his attention to the west at some point. Okay, we're losing money. Uh, just a few more months of this, though. We can start to, to lower maintenance just a hair. Major peasant rebellion in Persia. Hmm. It's a shame. Did I turn that off? Why was I not getting any indication about all of this other stuff? Well, I guess I wasn't looking there, was I? I was just looking at this one. Yeah, he's having some issues. Timurs has declared war upon Uzbek. Uzbek is getting torn apart. I border Uzbek. I could chime in here and take a little bit from him. Is there land to be raised? Yeah, there's there's lots of provinces that could be raised down a little bit. Get some monarch points from it. We owe it to ourselves to take advantage of this land. Five more months until these things are done. Six hundred seventy-one points. Is there any way? How, how much longer till we can embrace this darn thing? We're still only at one percent. Thirty-five point eight four percent Renaissance. Seventy-six something here. This will be the next one then. Uzbek will cede tons of land to the Oirat. They've also been forced to release Kivya. Kiva. Way down there. Yeah, cut right in half. That means all the north can be mine. Total war score cost for Uzbek is 160. Let's count these bottom ones up. What do we have? We've got 6, 5, 8, 5, 10. So call it 10, 20, 28. 34%. It's going to be too much for us to full annex the top half, but we could take out everything that doesn't, anything that has more than free development. And he has no rep, he has no troops right now. Let's just stay full maintenance. We're going to go to war right now. We have to do it. We have to. Okay. Up we go. We could also give all of this to Nogai before we, we peace out here. Losing a bunch of Horde Unity. Stinks, but we'll take it. We're gonna go ahead and, uh... It's actually gonna mess up a bunch of my, my numbers, isn't it? Rats. Uh, we can interact with the Estates here again. They're about to lose some loyalty. Which is, uh, the great... This is this is the time to do it, right? So we, we take this. Raise our host, get some free troops. We go ahead then and revoke... Down to 30, 40, 45 opinion. Let it tick back up. We get some manpower out of the deal. And uh, we call that good. This is going to put us over the force limit or no? It is. Slightly. Can I revoke a single province from them? That's not going to increase our force limit, is it? What about lowering autonomy somewhere? Really? This is this is the only land you're gonna show me? Is is these? Huh. Yeah, we're running into an issue right now where we just don't have enough territory. Like every every province that is a state is at zero percent. I can't make more states is the issue. We just don't have enough state availability yet. So I can't really mess about with uh estates much or or try to lower autonomy and stuff and I mean, we could do some development. We're, we're getting kind of up there in military power, so it's kind of an option. Saratov. This isn't our vassal, though. 
I want you to avoid those. There should be a checkbox up there to not show your vassals. It's nice that it's there. I'm not, I'm not saying it shouldn't be there. It's just like, I don't want to do that, so... I'd like to filter it out. And monthly production income of these things is so bad compared to taxes. I know you get the trade, but we don't really get the trade. Okay. Those ones I took up to 10 because I want building slots and because uh, we will get some renaissance spread, but... The main thing I want to go for now is uh, are there provinces that already have the renaissance or are very close to the renaissance that we can try to force it to happen a little bit faster so that we can start to get some more adjacency spread. Alternatively, we could just go nuts in our capital or something. Looks like this is the one. How much do we get? 1.5? It's like three months worth of renaissance then? It's kind of helpful. Trade goods not bad. We'll do it a couple times. We're behind time on Diplo though, so I should really not do too much more Diplo. It's about as far as I want to go. Save just a couple years. I'm getting that province in. That province is going to be worth uh, not much. It's only 13 developments. More than the only province we currently have, Crimea, but nice. That underhanded rogue of Lithuania has done some things they weren't supposed to. And again, the other reason why I was doing development right there is because I was hoping to get uh, our force summit raised, and I think we succeeded in that. Yes, we did. Austria, I need you to have 15 more opinion of me, please. I can't influence another nation as a great power, because they're a great power. Um, I'm allied to your rival, which is the Ottomans. That's not going to change. It's like this mission just is not possible. <clears throat> now, if we wait for the Pretenders to succeed... How have they not... Are you still... You're still at war. That's why you haven't been shattered or broken. It's a 0001 leader, so I think we just declare and just go fight it. Ah, crap, we have a truce. Until April of 91. Oh, I guess that's a good reason to wait a little while then, huh? Maintenance is not going to be a concern for this war, so... I'm still hopeful that he's not going to have very much going on for him. Austria got reelected, so we'll likely see some uh, reforms get passed at some point in the near future. Alright, April, so let's raise maintenance now. One of these days, we're gonna get Bash geared into a state, actually make some damn money in this thing. Okay, there goes the truce. Persian peasants are just gonna like raise autonomy a little bit in Persia, which doesn't matter to me. I, I still got the lands added to Persia and I... Excuse me? It's, it's just said that it expired and yet now I'll take a stab hit to declare? Excuse me, what? Gonna make me wait till the end of the month even though you just lied and told me that it wouldn't? Nice. Alright, here comes our Cavalry Combat Ability, Monthly War Exhaustion Reduction. Very good stuff. And we're going to do Tribal Feud over Ig Ig Igini Igino. Iglino. Make this war as brutal as we can. He's got exactly one fort and it's a capital fort. So, let's go ahead and grab four infantry up there right away. And beyond that, we're going to go... Down to one stacks. 
and uh, try carpet siege as much as possible. Even though I'm, I'm thinking we're going to run into some some other peasants out there. So we got to pay close attention to this before we let them march directly onto an enemy, or hopefully they don't get picked off as the peasants try to move around. Our beloved heir has died. That's unfortunate. And then Kan, Kan Zada is uh, actually decent. 4-3-3, four, four, three, three, I like that, but... A 2-5-3 with weak claims? Screw that. I'd rather gain a mosque. Kabardia. Alright, sure, we'll take a free building. With 100 gold. Ah, see, that's what I wanted to avoid. Those will be some strong pretenders right there. Damn it. This is just an infantry, but... Stupid people. Stupid jerks. Double back. Catch this army, if you can. Stupid rebels, leave it alone. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Jesus, Uzbek, what have you done? This was a horrible decision. I, I regret this decision immensely. There's like 36,000, there's more troops here than... There are more Uzbek tribe rebels than there are like troops in Ming. For the Ottomans. It's ridiculous. It's insane. This army is probably gonna die. Nope. Oh, looks like it might survive. Thank goodness. That's not at all what I expected, but... And they're not giving up. They're coming... <laughs> they're just coming hard. Good God. And we have Armenian Separatists, Akinu Separatists. These are things that I do need to take care of. And again, I got rid of the forts because I was afraid of his, uh... His own ability to rebel against me, but now... Now we get to attack into the mountains. Perhaps I should have kept one. Okay, well, uh, we have 10,000 10, troops here, um, we get to fight this guy again. He actually gets to be considered the defender because there's a fort, but thank goodness there's no crossing penalty. I'm gonna retreat from this battle as well, we need to regroup. Getting wrecked, man. We killed way more than we lost, but, like, I need to, uh... <laughs> get this crap under control. Zoroastrian zealots now, as well. Dude, Persia, get your act together, dude. Like, this is, this is enough, okay? I get that you have this, like, super high liberty desire, but you can't even control your rebels. So, like, stop it. There is a fort here. We'll leave that one for now. I'm not going to stop trying to take down Uzbek's territory. I want this land. This land belongs to me now. I'm going to put down these damn tribes. The easiest thing for us to do, though, would be to just not fight it and wait for, um... If the Timurids peace out, 
No, no, there's no way the the rebels can't force demands while anyone's at war, so no, I, I, I do have to clear these guys, don't I? Yes, yes, I do. Okay, well, with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and take a break here then. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll... I'll see you soon.